Do you offer any different types of mineral to the Rams? Um, no, not to the Rams specifically. I mean, the Rams are in with the sheep the vast majority of the year. The sheep are on free choice right now. Um, people who are following what we've been doing know that we're in the process of trialing a different mineral system, but the sheep are just still on straight up free choice. And Greg did that for the first time last year. Before that, they were literally just getting salt and maybe a pre-mixed mineral every once in a while. But um, sheep aren't as um, needy, at least Greg's sheep, the, um, the breed itself, and the genetics that he has are, they don't, they're not, they're bred for minimum maintenance. Like they're bred to be as low maintenance and self-sufficient as possible. And so they, they don't really need a lot of mineral because they're eating a lot of broad leaves and sort of forage that is highly mineralized in general. That's bringing up all sorts of different stuff um, from the soil and plant metabolites and that kind of thing. And so they get a lot more from their forage than the cattle do as far as minerals are concerned. And, um, and so they don't need it as much. So what we would recommend for people just starting out, especially if you're on a budget with sheep, is just make sure you get the right stuff and then just start with salt. Like they'll do totally fine on salt. We did notice that giving them the free choice that last year we averaged the best lamb, like highest lambs per ewe of any year that Greg's ever had. And that might just be a, a combination of factors, but the mineral probably isn't hurting. Um, the fact that those ewes are getting everything they need nutritionally, um, like, you know, for their gestation and, and whatnot means we got a lot of twins this year, which is a good thing for sheep. Not so much for cattle, but a good thing <laughs> with sheep. Um, so yeah, the sheep get free choice. Um, we, they might end up switching to a similar program that we're trying out with the cattle right now, but um, stay tuned for that. That's probably going to be after our time here, I would guess, if the <laughs> sheep are going to get switched. Because we got a lot of free choice we could need to feed up if we do make the switch. We're still in the process of seeing how they do. This calving season is going to be telling as far as if we're getting the kind of mineralization in those animals that we want. Um, so... Uh, and seeing the positive impacts of that program, but yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for that. So let's see. Uh -huh.